Plaintiff Dominique Thurman says her new tenant unleashed a tornado of terror and destruction that left her fearing for her life. Defendant Terrell Jackson says he was simply living a quiet life and doesn't understand what the plaintiff is talking about. He says he owes her nothing. Case 49 on the docket, you got Thurman versus Jackson. Let's see what we have here. We have the plaintiff, Ms. Thurman, and you are suing the defendant, Mr. Jackson, in the amount of $4,000 for back rent, unpaid utilities, and property damage. Why don't you start out by telling me what your complaint is? Sir, I'm, I'm suing Terrell today for $4,000. He was living in my home a little over three months. Within those three months, that was the worst time of my life. Um, he left me with uh, basically unpaid rent, the utility damages, um, and also I was, I was at a fear for my life. Is, is um, this your house? Yes, yes, sir. Oh, you own the house? Or? No, sir, I was renting the home as oh, well. Oh, you're, you're, renting the, you're renting the home and you were sub, subletting to yes, him? Yes, sir. Got it. Basically, I let one of a friend of a friend know um, that I was looking for a renter, just wanted to subsidize my income to, you know, be able to um, be able to save a little bit more money. Um, so she ended up introducing me to him here, and whenever I introduced, when she ever introduced me to him, he was a you know very well kept person. Um, you know, he he seemed to be very respected and you know things of that nature. I didn't see anything wrong with renting to this person. Right. Um, I showed the, the place to him and we talked about it. Um, I ended up going over the lease with him and I did make him aware that rent was $1,800. Um, and we were to split the rent in half, $900 apiece. Also in my lease, it said no pets. I let it be known, no pets. May I see a copy of that, please? Yes, sir. Thank you. I think this is the closest I've actually been to the lease. Actually, never saw it. So I agree, we agreed to pay half of utilities, half of Wi-Fi, and also half of the rent. In doing so, he sent me $900 through Cash App. He had to do it in different increments for whatever reason his uh, bill was unable to do so. Here you are, Your Honor. So he did pay $900, which would be half of the $1,800 rent Yes, here. sir. Got that it. was the only amount of money that I received. Once I received that $900, um, yes. I gave him keys to my home. And the home was, it was basically an open home. Nothing was off limits between my bedroom, kitchen, living room. Everything was as is, you know. Okay. So um, I gave him those and everything was good for the, for the entire month of August. All the, August was okay. Come September, it was time for him to, you know, pay rent, pay the half of the utilities, everything that we agreed upon. Once September came, you know, I, I started checking the bills to see, you know, what utilities it was that he, um, you know, just, just see how much he was going to have to pay. We were going to have to split. Yeah. So um, I screenshotted everything and I sent it to him, you know, hey, you know, here's the bills. And I just happened to look at my electricity bill. Normally my electricity bill is between 40 to $50. Once he moved in, it tripled. So, I, and I have proof here. So as well as the, the bills tripling, um, I did text him and I let him know, hey, you know, the bill, normally my bill is under, under $50, so, you know, I don't, I don't know what's going on. And he, quote, I said, gotcha, well, I'll tell you what, I'll handle the electric since it's me who's making it that high. I said, okay, cool, went on for so forth and so forth. And here's the water bill, the Xfinity bills as well. Okay. Mm -hmm. The water and the Xfinity and that, the utilities, is a split. That's, that was the original plan. That However, was the original plan, and the electric, he says he'll take care of. Exactly. Okay. Yes, sir. And the final item, then, is what, what is this about property damage? Continue with your story. So we're getting into property damage. So as I said, September, I was expecting the first payment for that first, uh, that first week of September. I yeah. never received it. So the second week goes by, okay, it's getting to the point to where, okay, I'm, I'm starting to wonder where my money is. So I'm texting, I'm calling. My messages stop sending as I messages to start sending as text messages, which goes to show that he ended up changing his number on me or some form of nature. Objection. And <clears throat> my phone broke. That's why I wasn't able to. Okay. And so I explained then, the situation to you. So around September 17th, I'm like, okay, hey, so, you know, what are you going to do about rent? He stops responding to me on Facebook. I start going down, knocking on the door. I don't get an answer. At this point, this is where I become scared for my life because you st I basically have, I have an intruder in my home. You're not paying any bills. You're just living here for free. And that was not the original arrangement. So... Um, in the meantime, rent is accumulating, you yeah. know, I'm, get, I'm accumulating late fees and all the other things of that nature. I have the rent here also showing the late fees as well, Your Honor. Okay. 
the last two weeks of September, I believe it was, I was having conversations with my coworkers and different people. You know, look, this is what's going on in my home. I'm afraid, you know, I'm living out here by myself. I, I don't know what else to do. So my coworkers, they volunteered to come to my home with me to try to get him out of the house. You know, can you pack up? Can you be out like today? Because you're not yeah. paying rent. So we go by, we're knocking, we don't get an answer. And so I just like, okay, you know, I don't, I don't know what's going on at this point. It's almost October. I'm basically letting someone live for free. So I go and I take the doorknob off the door. So I'm, I'm trying to get in there to see what's going on. You know, what's behind this door that you leave in lock when you're not even here, you know? Yeah. So I, I, I open up the door, I take the doorknob off, and I, I was trying to push the door open, and I couldn't open it. It was something blocking it behind the door. So I push, like, you know, a little bit of the top, and it opens up, and a funky smell just comes through the door, and it's just disgusting. It, it smells like... It, it smells like a sewage downstairs. So I'm like, well, what the hell happened in here? You know, what's going on? And I peek in the door, and it was literally feces everywhere on the floor. There was an air mattress with no air in it. There was no furniture in the room. There was, like, female linen stuff all over the place. It was gross. It was molded clothes, uh, molded knowledge, food. By the way. It was ev everything that. in there was disgusting. And all of a sudden, I hear rustling outside of my window, like leaves rustling. And I look out. And I see him carrying all his stuff out, like out the back, like he finna just dip. So first thing I think of, oh, let, well, let me, I'm finna go downstairs. And first the thing I grab. The agreement was for me to leave that day, though. I'm like, do you remember that? How was, how was I knowing that you were gonna leave? You didn't have no way to respond you, you to me. You texted me on Facebook and said you wanted me out by this date. Did you date. respond? As I was saying, when I went downstairs, I'm like, okay, you know, I'm thinking this person living in my house, not paying rent, not paying none of his utility bills. So the first thing I think I have to grab something to defend myself. I grabbed my toilet plunger out my bathroom, sir, just <laughs> like this. Coming downstairs just like this. Cause he think that's a game, like that's my life. You know, I'm living here by myself. I have you here. I didn't sign a lease. I didn't sign any agreement. The only thing that I will say, you know, I'm, I'm liable for is what I texted her in regards to the electric bill. We did it, I mean. So you think you're right. supposed to stay somewhere for free? Is that yeah, what you're that's saying? That's not what I'm saying. That's not what I'm saying at all. You just what, said what electric. I you didn't say saying, nothing about rent, the damage is nothing finish? else. Let me finish. So. Going in, moving into the next month, moving into September, I did, I did pay her for that first month. Moving into September, I'm not going to get too into the weeds, but basically I was going up job-wise. I was, I was supposed to be promoted into another job. Now what happened was I lost that side, I lost that job, and then I also lost the original job because they wouldn't accept me back after I put in my two weeks. Here's, here's where we are. Everyone's got their personal story. I get it. So, what are the damages for that apartment? But I can tell you ahead of time, the rent is going to be paid and the, uh, half the utilities are going to be paid. Can I explain the damages? So, I changed the doorknob, I changed the locks, and I go in the room and I'm doing a full 360 Jeez. and I turn the door around and I see this. And it looks, it looks like to me Cujo was downstairs. Like somebody bit off the damn door. Like, what is this? And to me, what it looks like was you had a pet well, when I you. said at the beginning not to have pets. And was if there you a look dog in the place? Let me ask you a question. It was, uh, so to be, to be fair, it was not my dog, but there was a dog there. And secondly, um, But she said I you're not did, allowed to have a dog there. We did discuss Who's having a dog. We did discuss me having one of my pets over. We did in the beginning. Now, and what did you say? Did you? Where was this? This was in the beginning. He I introduced. Lying. I mean, he I lying, introduced him. Okay. Okay. He's lying. speaking directly to right. He's lying, Your Honor. Okay. I apologize. Not He's only lying. that, but I did. So the damages that were done. So the reason why it looked like that was because I did ask her for permission to have one of my friends stay there for a bit. And what did he'd I been, say? He'd been evicted. She what wasn't she comfortable say? with it. She did say no. No what? I'm not comfortable with that. Ma'am, ma'am, no. Okay. I'm speaking to the judge. Okay, so she said no. So therefore, right. we can't have the... But here's my thing. What I did was I clean, I did clean the area. I cleaned the area to the point where you weren't really able to tell much that had happened. What a picture. Yeah, except... And <laughs> What's without, that, though? What is she's that? Taking, right. She's taking one picture, one picture of the room. Well, the rest of it... The rest assuming of it was clean. It's there was not... no feces in the place. There was nothing. Okay. Assuming this is not fake news, what is 
What is this picture? Right. So, so the damages for the room was about fifteen hundred dollars and about seven hundred dollars for the utility damages. I also have here. What do you the, mean utility damages? Are not. I'm sorry. Not utility damages. Just utilities, and then also the room damages. So he damaged the door, the wall, and also the carpet. I had to have the door as well as the frame replaced. I had to have the wall replastered, and I had to have the the bedroom where he was like harvesting Cujo down there. I had to have the carpet pulled up. Okay. Her lawsuit. Right. which I find very compelling that she or any person in that situation is entitled to believe that rent will be paid, that half of the utilities will be paid, that damages which she certainly didn't cause. And as a consequence, I find for the plaintiff in the amount of $3,827.30. I'm not a bad person, and you know that's kind of what I wanted to come through. I didn't leave her in that situation on purpose. I would have liked to get the full amount, but just even, even a little bit is fine because I had to come out of my pocket for this.